To get rid of FAA, SpaceX just revealed Starship new launch pad is assembling at Florida. Up until now, most development of the company's next-generation Starship vehicle has been centered on its Boca Chica, Texas test facility. But some exciting news is on the horizon. It hasn't been a secret that Musk wants Florida to eventually be the launch site for the spacecraft he aims to use to take humans to the moon and Mars. Concrete for the launch pad was poured back in 2019, but there hasn't been much activity on the site since. That might soon change. In this video, we'll tell you all about SpaceX's latest plans to finally build the new Starship launch pad in Florida. We just told you that SpaceX already has a facility in Texas, so why then are plans being made to develop a new launch pad site in Florida? Well, you're going to have to stick around to know the answer to that and much more as we take a deep dive into SpaceX's operations. So let's begin the video. SpaceX has begun building a launch pad for its Starship rockets in Florida. CEO Elon Musk announced on Friday, as the company looks at another location to launch the mammoth rocket that's in development. Construction of Starship Orbital Launch Pad at the Cape has begun, Musk said in a tweet. The company had previously started some work on a Starship-specific launch pad on the grounds of Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, which SpaceX leases from the agency to launch its Falcon 9 in Falcon Heavy rockets. But since builders have poured concrete for the foundation of the Starship pad in late 2019, the location has largely remained dormant. But now, SpaceX plans to transform parts of NASA's Kennedy Space Center to become an operational base for the company's super-powerful Starship launcher, while keeping a sprawling complex in South Texas as a research and development location for the heavy lift rocket program. Musk, the founder and chief executive of SpaceX, said in December that SpaceX has started construction of an orbital launch site for the Starship on Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center. But his recent comments suggest the company has carved out long-term roles for the government-owned Florida spaceport and the privately run test site in Cameron County, Texas, also known as Starbase. When SpaceX began Starship development in earnest two years ago, the company started building rocket prototypes both nearby the NASA complex and its private facility in Boca Chica, Texas. The company later pivoted to focus on work at the Boca Chica site, which is nicknamed Starbase, and has since conducted Starship test flights and more from the Texas location. In November 2021, Musk said that SpaceX will hopefully launch the first Starship prototype to orbit in January or February from Texas, the company's next major step in developing the rocket. That test is pending regulatory approval, as SpaceX needs a launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration for the mission with the federal agency expecting to complete a key environmental assessment by the end of this year. The space agency performed an environmental assessment of the plan in 2019 and gave SpaceX permission to begin work within the LC-39A site. But the agency said that approval is only to build at this time, with authorization for launches and landings requiring a separate approval process. The FAA issued a draft environmental report in September after consultation with several federal and state agencies then held two virtual meetings in October to collect input from the public. The FAA said in December that the volume of public comments would cause the agency to miss its goal to complete the environmental review by the end of December. Officials shifted the timetable to the end of February, but that self-imposed deadline is now in doubt. The review marks a re-evaluation of the FAA's original environmental impact statement before SpaceX started construction of the Boca Chica site in 2014. At that time, SpaceX planned to launch Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets from South Texas, but the scope of the project has since changed to focus on the development of Starship and Super Heavy. SpaceX can't launch the Starship and Super Heavy vehicle until the FAA issues a license, which will come only after the completion of the environmental process. SpaceX already passed an environmental review for Starship launches from Launch Complex 39A. It would need to go through a new process at Launch Complex 49. The development of a Starship launch site and factory at Kennedy Space Center is SpaceX's insurance policy against delays caused by regulatory scrutiny. Musk has said that the Florida facility will serve as an operational base for Starship missions, while the Texas location is a better fit for testing. Musk said an FAA decision to require a new environmental impact statement would set them back for quite some time, requiring SpaceX to immediately shift more research and development work to Kennedy Space Center. He said SpaceX's worst-case scenario would be a delay of six to eight months, which Musk claimed would be enough time to build up a Starship launch tower at Kennedy Space Center. According to Musk's ultimate plan, SpaceX would have teams at two locations building Starships. 
After rapidly expanding its factory footprint in Texas over the last few years, SpaceX is planning to construct a rocket production facility inside the gates of Kennedy Space Center. SpaceX currently operates two launch pads at Cape Canaveral for its Falcon rockets. At Pad 39A, once home to NASA's Saturn V moon rocket and space shuttle launches, SpaceX launches astronaut crews to the International Space Station and Falcon Heavy rockets, made by combining three Falcon rocket cores to generate some 5.1 million pounds of thrust, more than any other operational launcher in the world. SpaceX is building a Starship pad just southeast of the Falcon rocket's launch mount within the fenced-in perimeter of Pad 39A, which officials hope to complete later this year. The company is also interested in developing another Starship launch pad, known as Launch Complex 49, a few miles to the north. But other Starships are in production a few miles away at the Starbase factory. NASA confirmed that SpaceX is within the rights of their lease agreement to make launch infrastructure improvements within the boundaries of the pad. The agency also confirmed that NASA is not providing funding for the Starship launch pad and deferred to SpaceX on the project's scope, cost, and timeline. So, are you guys enjoying the video? We've discussed the nitty-gritty details of the separate launch pad that's being built, but which mysterious spaceship is SpaceX planning to launch from it? We have the answer, but can you guess it? So, while you think, do subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive instant notification about all our future videos. Starship is the massive, next-generation rocket SpaceX is developing to launch cargo and people on missions to the Moon and Mars. The privately funded rocket, made of shiny stainless steel, will be the most powerful to ever fly. Future versions of the Super Heavy will have 33 methane-fueled Raptor engines producing some 17 million pounds of thrusted liftoff. It's also designed to be fully reusable, with Super Heavy Booster and Starship, eventually part upper stage and part in-space transporter, capable of returning to Earth with a vertical landing pad on its launch pad, and then flying again. The Starship itself will have six Raptor engines initially, but that could grow to nine engines, three designed for landing propulsion on Earth, and six for use in the vacuum of space. The Starship's first orbital test flight, though audacious in scale, will aim to prove out the rocket's basic launch and re-entry capabilities without fully testing out the complicated landing and recovery systems. On the first orbital mission, SpaceX plans for the Starship to re-enter the atmosphere after one trip around Earth, heading for a controlled landing at sea in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. The Super Heavy booster will splash down in the Gulf of Mexico. Musk's tweet on Friday marks the renewal of work on the Florida launch site for the Mammoth rocket, as he pushes SpaceX to perform as many as a dozen Starship test flights next year. Well, do you think SpaceX will be able to go ahead with their Starship program as scheduled, or will there even be more delays? Let us know in the comments below, and if you want to watch more of our amazing videos, then stay tuned.